guys welcome back to our channel and hope you guys are doing well today we are back in Calgary and we are at the Cobbs Adventure Park so Cobbs Adventure Park is a place that has kangaroo petting zoos and a few other animals like for petting zoos and there's also a few other activities here we'll be taking a look at those so let's go around here and show you guys what's here come on guys So after you come from the parking lot, there's an admission place that you can see pretty clearly. Um, you can line up, there's a line, and pretty much the admission for one person is actually $23. Or if you're under the age of two, it's actually free. You can also get a season's pass if you want, which is $69 per person, or a guest season pass, which is about $79 per person. They're pretty much going to tie wristbands around your wrist so they know you paid inside, and they're going to give you a map and tell you a few things you might need to know. So after you enter, on your left, there's the kangaroo petting zoo. They sanitize your hands before and after you're done with the petting zoo. There's a kangaroo food in that little box over there. You can ask an associate um, if you want to feed the kangaroo. You can also pet them. So we were lucky enough to see this baby Joey, but of course not all people are going to be able to see this, so here's a little clip if you want to enjoy this. I felt like this was so cute and the baby was just so small and compact. And guys, the cutest thing is when it just crawls back into the mom kangaroo's pouch. It's just so cute. You can also feed them leaves if you want. I'm not really a big fan of the kangaroo eating right from my palm, so I just like feeding them leaves. And if you're like me, go ahead and do this. They literally don't care if you pet them or like you touch them. Like this turtle here, if you literally touch it, it wouldn't even mind you. So there's also this really big picnic space like in the middle of Cobbs. There's a few restaurants too if you want to take a little snack or you want to eat your lunch here. They have these like um, mini donut restaurants and these little chicken finger meals you can get. So we just finished the kangaroo petting zoo and this is a map of the area that they give before you enter. Now we're going to be going to Let's go. Gonna go karting. So they also have pedal karting, which is pretty much kind of like a bike, um, except it's more of like a bigger car type of thing. You can go on doubles with two people, or you can just go alone. Me and Vivit preferred if we just went alone. Um, pretty much, they have a few rules. You can't go more than twice because there's only so much, and everyone wants to get a chance. So there's also wagon riding. There are a few rules though. You have to keep your hands inside the cart at all times and you cannot stand up. Um, pretty much this wagon ride actually goes fully around the Cobbs Park so you can see most of the um, cool things they have here. And also it doesn't go too fast. It's kind of like a train. So there's also this like really big slide over there. We weren't able to get like a better uh, video of this, but that's the slide over there. Also, we went glow in the dark um, 
golfing which was actually really fun because i've actually never golfed before but it was really cool because it was fully black but then there was this glow-in-the-dark paint put all around this stuff there and it was like you were literally in space and we went to the alpaca petting zoo they that was uh, petting a few alpacas just like the kangaroos they literally don't care if you pet them Guys, here are the sugar gliders. They're so cute, guys. They're so, like, little and compact. Okay, guys, so at Cobbs, there's actually a lot of, like, these little games, like bowling and gaga ball and um, this little, like, hooped basketball. There's a lot of these games. So if you're looking for just a little bit of fun time with your siblings or family, this is a great place to go to. Okay, guys, so quick note, there is this axe throwing place um, next to the exit. It's actually pretty far, but remember, it's only for people who are over the age of 18. So we also went to this place where you could sit on these like um, bouncy ball type stuff. There's these little pig ones, and then there's the big balls. Um, I actually sat on the balls. It was fun because I felt like it was just another piece of my childhood. And you just kept bouncing and it was so fun. Of course, you would fall off a few times, but that was the fun of it. So the goat and horn sheep petting zoo is actually right next to the alpaca petting zoo. Um... They prefer if you actually don't pet them because there is a um, chance that they could bite you. Okay guys, so last but not least, we are going to be going to the fence maze. So we heard this is actually super fun and honestly we did have a lot of fun because it's pretty much just this maze. They got scared though a little bit because there was these like um, hands and feet. Of course they weren't real but they're still a little scary. Um, and we finally made it to the end enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel if you ever visited here make sure to comment down below adios amigos